the Austin, Texas airport, otherwise known as the Maze for Rats. Y'all know the Maze for Rats? How they try to find their piece of cheese at the end of the maze? At the end of this maze, you're trying to find your flight. Your flight is that piece of cheese. This is like watching paint dry. It's like the roulette wheel. I put it all on the black suitcase. It smells like fruit snacks in here. Amazing smell. Why don't they make that an air freshener? Fruit snack scent? Or a car freshener fruit snack? It's the problem with people in America. They don't want to try nothing. You could try it, America. Fruit snack scented spray. Fruit snack scented car freshener. You could try it. What's the harm? No harm. That's the problem with you, America. You don't want to try stuff. People would love a fruit snack scented spray. I would, because this bathroom smells like that. America, I love you. I was born here. But you gotta try stuff. Especially fruit snack scented spray. Alright? Just focus on the fruit snack scent, right? Right. Alright. I've been on YouTube three years. No star. I'm gonna go talk to the guy who owns this Hollywood Walk of Fame. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry my eyes out. I'm gonna go up to him and be like, <laughs> get that lip quiver. Where's my star? Been on YouTube. Three years. No star. <laughs> Where is it? Three. You. Two. No star. I don't even know half these people. Okay, Robert Mitchell, I know. But still. See, that star's blank. Why can't my name be on it, huh? Come on, Walk of Fame. Come on. Here in Hollywood now. How many of you like toy stores? Well, this is my idea of a toy store right here. This is the ultimate Hot Wheels. Anybody want to go to a toy store? Well, you're looking at one right now. Not only is this the ultimate toy store, but you got the King Elvis Presley right next to the caddy. It's paradise. It's perfect. What more could you ask? I could die and go to heaven right now. Look at this. Beautiful. Look everybody, it's all my awards. Every single award I've ever won for anything in the world. Best participator, best eater, best passer outer of papers, best actor, best singer, best writer, best friend, best person to drive you crazy on purpose. The list goes on. I mean, look, the, the list goes on. Best assistant, best executive, best dentist. I was a dentist for a short time, I got fired because I drove a little too deep. Best dog sitter, that's right, I was Tom Cruise's dog sitter. Best cat sitter, Julia Stiles cat sitter. And of course, the most awesome person award I got two years ago. That is my award for the most awesomest person ever. These are all my awards I've ever won. Yeah, so anyway, there, there's this, there was this theater in Hollywood, the, the Panages Theater, and they do plays there, right? And so I tried to figure out how much it was for a ticket just to go see one play. They said $70, and that that's a horrible seat. You're way in the back. What if I get one of those like uh, columns right in the middle of my face? That's So I basically am paying $70 to go watch a column. I mean, come on, $70, the only way I'm paying that is if I'm in the front row, get to meet all the actors in the play, party with them afterwards, go back to their dressing room, talk with them, touch them, do all this, and get a bar of gold. That's the only way I'm paying $70. Does that sound fair, Josh? No, it's kind of pushing with the bar of gold. It's pushing it with the bar of gold? Yeah, maybe okay. like a nugget, but... What about a cube? Uh, inch and a half. That's shorter than a cube. Inch and a half. Uh, an inch, then an inch and a half. Mm -hmm. You know what? Forget you, Josh. I'm going to the bar of gold. What? So, so you don't think the bar of gold is fair? Like if it's like full, huge brick. No, but small. Yeah. Shut up, Josh. Hey, hey, y'all looking for a fight? We can rumble right now. Let's take this to the pond. Let's take this to the water, huh? Yeah. What? What then? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, they're cussing me out. Y'all want to cuss people out? Okay. Y'all are in grass. Y'all want to fight? We'll take this to the pond right now. This isn't a fair fight, three against one. You can't gang up on me like this, guys. Come on, see in the water, I got ducks to protect me. They are beautiful, though. I just hear they're very mean. Is that true? Are y'all mean? 
Yeah? He went wrong. Okay, okay, dang. I was just asking a question. Gosh. What is wrong with y'all? Don't hey, don't cuss me out. Okay. You know what? I'm not gonna waste my time with you guys. You wanna fight? I'm right here. You don't wanna fight? Okay, boot. I was kidding. Get back, get back. We'll talk to you guys later. You're so mean. <laughs> you don't like you, Tommy. Hey, do you guys wanna go to a church service tonight? Do you wanna go to a church service tonight? What about you? Would you like to go to a church? Okay, okay. They will cuss you out. They're not messing around. Oh no, they are not. They run this part. Yes. Well, they tried to fight me, but I was like, it's not fair. Three against one. <laughs> I said, let's take it to the water. Yeah, you want you want to fight? We take it to the water. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, nice talking to you guys. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Have you guys ever ridden on a bus? Have you ever ridden on a bus, sir? No. Have you ever ridden on Have you ever ridden on a bus? No. Have you ever ridden on a bus? Have you ever ridden on a bus? No. All right. Bye bye. Y'all see, I got these geese in check mode. I told them, get back in there, and they're going back in there. I said, hey, you don't mess with me. No, I'm just kidding, I, I ran out of food, so that's why they went back in there. But still, it's the principle. If a goose was caught in a wire trap, and his neck was stuck in there, and he was bleeding, and he was stuck in there, he couldn't get out, would you help him out? Yes. Would you, uh, punch, but would, what, would you punch him in the face? Yes. So you would help him out, and then right after you helped him out, you'd punch him in the face and continue smiling while doing it. So that's how much you hate him. You're going to deceive him and be like, oh, I'm going to help you. But then once he gets out, you're going to... Wow. Okay. Well, yeah. You heard it from my man, Tommy. That's how much of buttholes they are. We hate them. I didn't know they were doing a Beverly Hills 90210 reunion. Hey, hey for all you out there, this is an early Christmas greeting. I'm saying Merry Ho Ho and Happy Jingle Jingle. And Tommy... Would you say it with me? Or just say Merry it, go ahead. Ho -ho and happy jingle. Right. That's how you do it right there. Just like for uh, 4th of July, it's a uh, Merry Fireworks and Happy Red, White, and Blue. So I'm going to say that. Merry Fireworks and Happy Red, White, and Blue. Now you say it. Merry Fireworks and Happy Red, White, and Blue. There you go. You got to mix it up, man. You can't just have 4th of July. You got to you gotta be original with it. We are original, all right? Don't you forget it. You see this? And you see this face? Originality. You can't buy this with money. Maybe Starbucks coupons and maybe... Whataburger coupons, but not money. And we got reports of a Pegasus sighting over here. Wait, what? What? Oh, well, Tommy, did you see him? Yeah, he was breathing fire. See, we we don't. No, no, he wasn't. We don't see. I don't think we have Pegasus around here. Maybe horses. Maybe unicorns. Even ponies. But no Pegasus. Shut up, Tommy.